from San Diego Derby Doll, and I'm here with Slam Rye and Obi Noxious. And today we're going to work on a bank tracks live block. Um, we're going to talk about the skills that we need to do it. First of all, this relies a lot on our toe stops. So you need to be a toe stop wearer to be able to do this block. Um, we're going to practice marching up the hill on the bank track legally on our toe stops, and then sliding back down the hill on our toe stops legally. And ultimately, this block is going to use the fact that we think we know what the jammer is going to do next, and we're going to use it to keep continuous contact on her the whole time. This is a great block to use um, when your team is slowing down the pack, and you want to do a lot more lateral motion rather than forward motion. So first, we're going to just practice the skate skills that we need in order to do this block well and do it legally, and then we'll turn it into a block. So we're going to practice our up and down runs, but I want to point out one thing real quick about the legality of this move. In bank track, you can't ever step backwards on the track. There's a penalty for that. So if you ran straight up the hill, every time you stepped back on this foot, you'd be accruing a penalty. So we're not ever going to run straight up and down so that we're not stepping back. Instead, we're going to look at the lines on the track and make sure that we're always climbing at a diagonal and not using our hands up here because if there's a jammer, we're asking for a penalty like this. So we're going to run up and then slide down as close as we can to the bottom of the line. So we and Slam, we're all going to do a little bit and just kind of show you what it looks like. So me and Knox here are going to play this out how it all happens. Here's the scene. I'm the blocker. I'm going to make an upward hit. I'm going to rail off the jammer. We're taught when you get railed, the next thing you do is do a rail kick and start heading down the hill to find new options. So most of the time, when you rail a jammer, the next thing she does is head down the hill. So right now, with this block, we're going to count on that. And you're going to learn more with experience over time when you think they're going to do it when they're not. But as soon as we rail her, we're going to keep continuous contact with her on our back, go into that slide position, and keep her attached to our back the whole way down the hill until we get to the very bottom coping. If you don't go all the way to the bottom coping, you can be unfortunate enough to watch her skate by your backside where you can't even really see her anymore. So um, again, I'm gonna take her up to the rail. As soon as she starts into her kick, I'm gonna make sure that I maintain connectivity with my back, and I'm gonna slide down the hill being sure that I have some forward motion that I'm going at a little bit of a diagonal of a way. So we're gonna put some motion. up a great point here. As I'm sliding down, when I keep connectivity with her, I can feel if she's going to go up or down. But if she has any space, she can run away up the top and I need to be prepared for that. So not only is it this downhill slide that I'm committing to, but I also need to be ready to start my uphill diagonal again and then the slide again. And this can go back and forth for a while. I mean, the idea is that we're working on legal lateral play where the jammer can't push you forward because your feet are pointing the other direction. Um, so that's it. That's the that's the main track slide. Thanks to OB and Slamrai. I'm Isabel Ringer from the San Diego Derby Dolls. Practice it. Make it awesome.